to Miss Sheik's second-hand shop. How can I help you today? Okay, so you just went to our sister shop, Whisper Second-hand Shop. And you're new to the area, and you'll be starting university next week. Exciting! Um, what will you be studying? French. Oh, well, you're in luck because we have just had a delivery of some French books earlier this morning. I do still need to price them, but you're most welcome to have a look around our shop for anything else that you might like. Perhaps I can interest you in our clothes deal at the moment. We do have buy one, get one free on all of our shirts. So yes, um, I will bring the French books to the tin, and then we can have a look and see if you like them. Okay? Just come to the till when you're ready. So have you found everything that you need? Yes, fantastic. Okay, um, I also found a few books for you, so I'll take them out in a minute. I can see that you're holding a school bag there. It's a really nice bag. Lots of nice, lovely colours. I think this one was £3.50 because it is still quite new. I do think, though, it might be a little bit too small for you, because there isn't really much room. Um, surely at university you'll be carrying a lot of books. We do actually have a much cheaper bag that's um, not quite as new, but it's a lot bigger. I don't know if you saw it, but I do have it here to show you. So, this is the bag. As you can see, it's a lot bigger. It isn't quite as new, but it's big enough for you to carry all your books for school. So it's got a big pocket here. And there's room to put things in like pens. And then it's got a bigger compartment here for books and things. And then there's like a smaller pocket here for putting things like your wallet or your phone. And this bag is two pounds. Would you rather get this bag instead? Yes? Okay, great. If you like, I can put all of your purchases in here today. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. Okay, so I'll show you the books that I found. Found quite a lot actually. Do you have any French books already? Okay, so you've got a French to English dictionary and English to French. Yes, um, actually, I did find a dictionary for you. It's actually all in French and I think it'll be really useful. I did study university French as well, so I know a little bit what the course is like. So this is the dictionary that I found for you. It's um, all in French. It is from 2009, so some of the things in here might be a little bit outdated, but there's always the internet as well. And I know that sometimes for exams and things, some universities might not be okay with a French to English dictionary, but they'll be absolutely fine with you using a French one. So this one, because it's a little bit bigger than the other books that we have, I am selling it for £2. Considering that it would be €8.90 in France, I think that's a very big bargain. And you get in it all of the words in French with the definitions. And then there's a little grey section here as well, which is for conjugated verbs. And then in the back you have some names, I believe they are. Okay, proper nouns. So proper nouns and the definitions and things. So would you like to get this one? Yes? Okay, great. And then I do have a synonym book as well. Thesaurus in French. 
This is also from La Rousse. A livre de synonyme, synonyme dictionnaire, so it's a dictionary for synonyms, and um, it's got loads of synonyms, it's chock full of synonyms, like you get all of those pages. And it's quite easy to use as well. So you just find a word and then it's got different words that you can use in its place. And this book is the same price as the dictionary, so it's two pounds. Would you like to get this one as well? Yes? Okay, great. And I did find this book as well. Might be very handy for doing translation work. So this is a Collins Easy Learning French Idioms And don't worry, it will only be one pound and not two ninety nine. So it's quite easy to use and it's got some pictures as well to make it more like interesting to look at and um, got different sayings and idioms as well. So this one, for example, is argument, conflict, help and cooperation. Être pendu au basque de quelqu'un, which means to be hanging in somebody's clothes, which means in our um, idiom, to stick to somebody like glue. Likely, likely, likely. So it's got loads of um, phrases and definitions and how we would use it in our language as well. So another one, marcher comme sur des roulettes, which means to work as if on casters, and in English the idiom would be to be plain sailing. So would you like this one? Not right now. Okay, well, you know where to find it if you do need it. I also found this book as well. This is a short culture book. It's all in French. It's called Savoir vivre avec le français. Que faire, que dire. And it's um, quite a handy book, really. I used to own this one. So it's got some important and some interesting information about French culture and um, like phrases and things that you can use in everyday situations. So would you like to get this one? It's uh, only 50 pence. Yes? Okay. Fantastic. And I also found this one, which is also 50 pence. This one is called Mot à Mot. And it's a new advanced French vocabulary book. And um, it's got definitions of words in English. And also it's got, uh, like it's divided into topics as well. So, for example, 2.4 is about le logement, or housing. So it's got different words that you can use to mean different things. I think it will be really useful, for example, when you're doing essays or translations and you want to use different words that are not always like, you know, the key words that you go for all the time. But if you want to widen your vocabulary, it's really useful as well to show that you know um, more French and to wow your examiners and also expand your knowledge about certain topics and different words that you can use. Would you like this one? Yes? Okay, great. And then last but not least, I have found a So this one is one pound, and it's got different conjugations of verbs and everything. Here and also the definition in English, and also some grammatical points as well. So 
for example the verb partir which means to leave you've got some information here about how the verb works and then some example sentences so language in use je pars à Londres demain tu pars pour combien de temps I'm going to London tomorrow how long are you going away for so this one is one pound one pound one pound one pound would you like this one okay so you won't get this one because you saw that the French dictionary has some conjugations. Okay, great, yes. It's a very good idea, it saves you some money there. Okay, so I can also see that you're holding some clothes. Okay, yes, let's have a look. This is a lovely jumper. It's got a nice satin bow. I think it'll be really nice with some black boots and maybe some skinny jeans. Or some even some leggings maybe. This one was two pounds. Yeah, it's a massive bargain, isn't it? So I'll fold it up for you and would you like to keep the hanger as well? It's absolutely free. Yes, okay, great. This is a lovely blue shirt. I donated this one actually. It also came from a charity shop. It's a lovely blue mesh shirt. Um, I really like the colour, electric blue. Unfortunately it doesn't quite fit me anymore. So this one was two pounds and then the other shirt will be free. So I'll just fold it for you and put it in the bag. It's quite tough, this one. It's one thing I didn't like too much about it, but you can always leave the top button undone. So have you found a place to live? You have? Great. And you got lots of stuff at Whisper's second-hand store to decorate your home. I'm glad to hear that. They have some really good bargains in there, and some really lovely stuff. Okay, I'll just fold it for you. And would you like the hanger as well? Yeah? Okay, great. And then this top, which is absolutely free. This is a lovely top. I was looking at it earlier, but don't worry, you can have it, of course. It's got some nice um, polka dots, and I really like this lace detailing, and the tie on the collar. So I'll just fold it up for you, and did you want the hanger as well? Yeah. This one's absolutely free, but I'll buy one, get one free sale. Okay, great. So, I'll just calculate how much you owe me. So, for the jumper, it was two pounds. Just write it down. One moment, please. So, the jumper was two pounds. And then you got the blouse for two pounds and the other one absolutely free. And then these two books, which were 50 pence each. And then I think I said these books were two pounds, is that right? Yes. So the the thesaurus and the dictionary were both two pounds each. Okay, and the bag, which was also two pounds. So two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. 
So that will be eleven pounds altogether. Bargain, isn't it? Will you be paying by cash or by card? By card. Okay. Great. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Just put your pen into here, please. Thank you. Okay. Let me just put your other things in the bag. I hope that you really enjoy your course at university and you know where to find us if you need more things. Okay, one moment, I'll just uh, zip your bag up. Okay, there you go, it's quite heavy, so mind that. There you go. So thank you very much for coming to Miss Cheek's second hand shop. And hopefully I'll see you sometime soon. Enjoy your course at university and your first week. Bye for now.